first loves curse words and strawberry wine. Oh, and a search for enlightenment. More on a contemporary tale of teen angst when you stick around for this week's pick. I love this book and I hated this book. I love this book because John Green is a terrific writer. Funny, insightful, smart as any author I've come across. He loves random knowledge and so do his characters. And my gosh, does he remember what it's like to be a teenager. I hated this book because what happens in it is beyond a downer. You'll get through it, the characters do, and you'll wrestle with some questions about the meaning of life and death. They're uncomfortable questions, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. So, what makes Looking for Alaska worth reading? I guess it's the tension. You've got the petri dish that is high school, a claustrophobic teeming mass of emotional highs and lows, coupled with huge philosophical questions that everyone on this planet wrestles with. Enlightenment might be a stretch. Even the characters don't get there. But enlightening? Looking for Alaska is that. It's also a coming-of-age story you won't want to miss.